Primary biliary cirrhosis can also cause liver cirrhosis. Primary biliary, biliary cirrhosis is basically cirrhosis, which is fibrosis and scarring of the biliary tract, as well as destruction of the bile duct. So bile duct is where the bile flows from the gallbladder here and the liver. This can cause cholestasis, which is bile flow blockage. So if we zoom into this area, here's our gallbladder and here's our bile duct, we can have blockage within the bile duct, which therefore will cause bile coming from the gallbladder and from the liver to not flow through and therefore can accumulate in the liver and other tissues. It's mostly asymptomatic, but symptoms of primary biliary cirrhosis itself is fatigue, fever, jaundice, and hepatomegaly, as well as itching. Now, alkaline phosphatase, bilirubin, and cholesterol are increased in the blood in this condition. Why would bilirubin be increased? Because bilirubin is usually eliminated within the bile. However, because the bile flow is blocked, bilirubin will go into the bloodstream and cause jaundice, yellowing of the skin. And primary bil biliary cirrhosis is uh, known to be an like autoimmune disease because the body essentially attacks its own biliary tract and bile duct and so you diagnose it with anti-mitochondrial antibodies towards this bile duct. Another cause of liver cirrhosis is an inherited disease known, known as Wilson's disease. Normally what happens is that we would absorb copper from the stomach here. The copper will come into the liver and they will be secreted via the bile and basically eliminated if necessary or will, tr or will move around the body. However, in Wilson's disease, we have a mutation of what's called the P-type ATPase, which normally transports the copper in the liver from the liver into bile to be incorporated into cereloplasmin so we can, so we can leave the liver and circulate around the body or be eliminated. But because of Wilson's disease, the copper um, accumulates in the liver and the brain because it cannot uh, be transported into the bile and incorporated into cere cereloplasmin. Altogether, Wilson's disease can cause liver disease and neuropsychiatric symptoms. So problems with copper accumulating in tissues can such as the liver can cause liver cirrhosis this is also the case with iron accumulating in the in the liver when we have too much iron in the body in our liver this is an example of hereditary hemochromatosis in which we have an accelerated rate of iron absorption from the intestines with all this iron we have we can have iron just depositing everywhere in the body, in different tissues, including that of the liver. Hereditary hemochromatosis can cause hepatic uh, cirrhosis, along with hypopituitarism, cardiomyopathy, diabetes, arthritis, and hyperpigmentation. To diagnose uh, hemo hemochromatosis, we just essentially take blood and see if there's low trans transferrin saturated with iron because transferrin is a carrier protein for iron so if there is no transferrin or there is but with no iron attached to it we can say that iron is somewhere else it's accumulating somewhere in the tissues in our body such as the liver and so to treat hemochromatosis we can do phlebotomy phlebotomy, where we withdraw blood to reduce the iron levels uh, in the blood, and then we put new blood in uh, with, with no iron in it. Or we can use chelating agents such as diferoxamine. What they do, what diferoxamine differ, does, is that they bind to iron to enhance iron elimination from the body, because we have too much iron in the body, we need to eliminate it. And the last cause of cirrhosis that can be that can fit into uh, this diagram is can be um, autoimmune hepatitis, where we have our own antibodies and immune cells attacking hepatocytes, the liver cells, 
and there is about a 10-year survival in 90% of the cases, no specific diagnosis. There can be increase in GABA globulin levels in the blood, which can be used for a diagnosis. Now, there are other causes of liver cirrhosis, such as glycogen storage disease and galactosemia. You can look, what a, look up what these conditions are. Anyway, this whole diagram shows some causes of liver cirrhosis, which is a progressive severe liver condition characterized by fibrosis and scarring, causing abnormal liver, liver, liver function, as well as death to the hepatocytes. Next video, we will look at the, some symptoms and complications that accompany liver cirrhosis itself, which include enlargement of the spleen and portal hypertension. So that's the next video. Thank you for watching.